Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today it is all about how to grow and care for the fiddle leaf fig. Ficus lyrata, commonly known as the fiddle leaf fig or banjo fig, is a houseplant native to tropical western and central Africa. It can reach a height of over 50 feet in its natural habitat, but when used as an indoor plant it seldom grows taller than 10 feet. It is considered by many to be the most beautiful of the figs, with large, showy leaves that create an eye-catching display in any room of your home or office. It is also one of the easiest houseplants to grow indoors. They are fairly hardy plants that can endure a less than ideal environment for a substantial amount of time. The fiddle leaf fig tree requires very little care, but knowing some basic information can mean a healthy plant for years to come. So let's have a look at what they need. The fiddle leaf fig grows best in bright, indirect sunlight. Place the fiddle leaf fig near a window to capture sunlight in the morning, but move it away from the direct sunlight in the afternoon because the leaves can burn very quickly. Extremely low light levels will prevent plants from growing quickly. Note that this plant doesn't like moving once it has settled into a spot, so find a warm place for it and don't move it afterward. These plants do not require a lot of water. They prefer to dry out between watering times. During the growing season spring to fall, Water the plant when the top inch of soil feels dry. It is best to allow the top couple of inches of soil to dry out before watering again. In winter, reduce watering frequency. These plants don't like overwatering, so leaves may start to fall off if you don't allow the soil some time to dry. Fiddle leaf fig prefers average room temperatures of around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Even in winter, the temperature shouldn't fall below 55 degrees Fahrenheit. If the plant is in a drafty area, it may start dropping leaves. The humidity for fiddle leaf fig plants is essential to keep the plant healthy. The optimal humidity for this plant is around 30 to 50 percent. A humidifier can help maintain a moderate humidity level inside your home if it's particularly dry. Misting the leaves daily also works. As an alternate, you can place the pot on a tray of pebbles filled with water as long as the bottom of the pot isn't touching the water. These plants require fertilizer once every month during their growing season. Feed more often if you wish, but not during the winter months when growth has slowed or stopped. You can use fiddle leaf fig fertilizers that are specifically formulated and sold in stores. Fiddle leaf figs are propagated best from stem cuttings and are very challenging to grow from seeds. Working with a cutting is almost error-free. To propagate a fiddle leaf fig, you will need to take a cutting from a healthy branch. Cut a stem with a few leaves that is 12 to 18 inches long using a pair of sharp shears. Pinch off all but one of the leaves. If you are using water, make sure the cutting is wholly submerged and change the water every day. If you are using soil, make sure the cutting is planted in moist soil and keep the soil moist at all times. The cutting will begin to show roots in about a month. Plant the cutting in a one gallon pot filled with potting soil when the roots are one to two inches long. Water the soil thoroughly before planting, but do not let it become soggy or overwatered. When potting fiddle leaf figs, Make sure to use the right type of pot. A drainage hole is necessary to let the soil drain properly and not get waterlogged. In addition, it would be best to use a somewhat large pot to accommodate the plant's root system. When repotting fiddle leaf fig, you should use a pot about two inches larger in diameter than the current pot. After removing the plant from its container, gently tease out the roots from the soil before putting it in the new pot. Only repot after the roots have begun to spill over slightly from the current pot. Fiddle leaf figs are mildly toxic to dogs and cats. Ingestion can cause vomiting and diarrhea, but the effects are mild. Leaf sap can also cause skin irritation if it comes into contact. Unfortunately, fiddle leaf figs are susceptible to many pests, including mealybugs, scale insects, and spider mites. These pests can cause significant damage and be challenging to get rid of if not treated properly. 